You look. No woman is gonna be happy with you chasing her ass all the time. If you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and you know all that shit, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The relationship is not gonna last. So fellas, I you know I'm just gonna give you some advice. All that chasing, that shit don't work. No, if she wanna be look, if she wants to be with you, you she'll be with you. Believe me. All that chasing shit, you're killing yourself. I promise you. The more you chase her, the more she just finds you disgusting. You're like a fan. Why would she want to be with some fan? You treat her like a star, she's going to treat you like a fan. Instead of chasing her, chase your money, chase your success. Chase greatness and excellence. Stop focusing on women. They'll come. The men's game is embarrassingly cynical. The crybabies dive and pretend to be injured. Women's football is way more hardcore. The Australian women's national team, who were ranked number five in the world at the time, lost 7 0 to a team of 15 year old boys. <laughs> Shot chaser. I would encourage men to find value outside of what they can provide monetarily. I would encourage men to know what is it that they need from women outside of physical no doubt. benefits. Because you guys do such a great job at minimizing your needs, as women we were taught they weren't important. Hmm. So y'all hold us accountable for not being supportive or not being loving or not being this or overlooking certain things, missing the fact that you taught us how to do it every time you said it's not a big deal. So you don't agree with happy wife, happy life? No, I don't. I think both people should be happy. <laughs> I think we should both be happy. Well, it, it, it doesn't make sense um, because she can be happy because you are just silencing everything that you need. And now you're miserable. There'll be a breaking point at some point. Right. And, yeah. and, the, and the breaking point comes out in sabotaging behavior. Yeah. With, that's going to cause damage yeah. to the relationship. No. No. If men are vocal about what their needs are, they get shamed if they don't align with what you want. So dudes just be quiet and they do what they have to do to succeed and reach where they need to go. Then even those guys who get there are shamed for wanting what they want. Men have been pretty vocal about what it is they want. They're shamed for telling you. He got engaged bro, to a motherfucking Sorry. bitch seven months after we broke up. Actually, he was cheating the whole relationship. He there you go. Period. He got impregnated. Period. So where's he at now? With the bitch. If you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be today? Uh, 11. 11. I'm 21. If you were born 10 years ago today, you would be 11. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. No, that's not. 10 years, you'd be 10. If you were born 10 years ago? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No. If you were born 10 years ago, then you would be 10. No. What do you mean, no? Because I'm 20. Yeah, okay. What year is it? What? <laughs> what year is it? 21. Okay, so if you were born in 2011, how old would you be today? Wow, 2011? Yeah. 41. <laughs> Are you sure this? Derry Carnova! Guys, what's the craziest story that's ever happened to you? Uh, Neymar Jr. DMs Neymar. me on Instagram. Who? Neymar. No, right, Neymar. Neymar. He called you tonight. He FaceTimed me tonight. He FaceTimed me tonight. Oh. Are you sure this? There we go, Neymar. The question is, did you accept the FaceTime and do you want some of Neymar? Oh, we're going to Paris in August. You're going to Paris in August? We're going to, August. <laughs> we're going to fucking Paris. <laughs> Hey, where's my fucking paid flight to Paris? Why doesn't anyone send me flights like that for God's sake? Look, man, we all know what's happening. What I find weird is, boy in the back, like, <laughs> we going to Paris too. Like, what are you about to do? You about to get flewed out too? It's like, you need to stay your ass home, man. It's a solo mission. I, I don't think Neymar wants you there. It's a solo mission. A lot of times I'm finding ways to make you happy. Just 
constantly, okay, let me be more creative. Let me do this. Let me take out on more dates. Let me do a different date. Let me. So it's always, how can I help you? How can I help you? But then it took, took time for me to sit back and be like, let me just chill and see what she's doing for me in this mm. relationship. And then when you sit back and realize, this bitch don't know nothing. She always coming to you for something. Or sure, always you want you to fix something. Color. You know what I'm saying? It's simple shit. Damn. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm good on that. Like, you clearly not here for me like you say you are or like you think you are. But sometimes, again, I'm, <clears throat> and, and this is not every woman, of course, but I think some women just don't realize it either because it's the way they've been conditioned. Like a man has to do all these things for you consistently and you don't have to give that much energy. But I think if you really like a man, then naturally you would do things to make him happy. But, you know, everybody ain't like that. That's the truth. Sometimes you have to just take a step back and see who really appreciates you to see who really values you and the effort that you put in for them. Some people are just here to take. They're just receivers. They never give, they never offer anything to you. They just wanna sit back and take advantage of whatever it is that you're doing. And then when you finally just take a step back and see if they keep contact, see if they help you out, do, do anything, you realize that, wow, th these people have just been orbiting me and they've been parasites. <laughs>